Hi, everyone. Uh, we are going to start the keynote lecture section. I'm Yusuf Dune from Seoul Lesson University Bundang Hospital. I'm working for this uh, chair of uh, International Committee of the, this society. Uh, today, uh, we are going to have lecture from the Professor uh, Sakai, uh, Yoshiharu Sakai, uh, the president of the Japanese uh, Society of Endoscopy Surgery. Uh, it is a, a distinct honor to introduce him. Uh, he, uh, let me introduce uh, him briefly. He graduated from Kyoto University uh, at 1981. He received the residency and fellowship training in Kyoto uh, University. After that, he did research and clinical fellowship in the University of Western Ontario for three years from 1989 to 1991. Uh, after that, he worked several years in the different hospital. Uh, in uh, 2005, he became the professor in Department of Surgery of Kyoto, uh, Kyoto University. He worked for uh, 16 years until last year. Last year, he became the Emeritus Professor of Kyoto University. Uh, he is now the director of Red Cross Hospital Osaka, and he worked at uh, as the uh, president of the Japan Society for Endoscope Surgery from last year. Uh, he will talk about his, his uh, 30 years experience of the Japanese uh, Society of Endoscope Surgery. The, his uh, presenter title is a multidisciplinary uh, team of 10,000 members. Uh, while do you, uh, anyone who uh, uh, have question while you are listening to his lecture, Please is uh, type your question on chat and in the chat window. I will ask these uh, questions after his presentation. Could you start the the video? And first of all, congratulations on the twenty fifth anniversary of the Korean Society of Endoscopic and Laparoscopic Surgeons. On behalf of JSHIS, I appreciate your great contribution to the development of endoscopic surgery in the world. JSHIS has also the 30th anniversary this year. KSELS and JSHIS have been communicating, stimulating, and encouraging each other. I believe this great friendship and competition will facilitate the development of this field more. It is my great pleasure to be here and to introduce JSHIS program again. I have no disclosure. JSHIS was founded in 1991. The first president was Professor Idezuki followed by Professor Kitajima, Professor Kitano, and Professor Watanabe. Last year, I took over the role of president. The aims of the JSHIS are to promote research, education, dissemination, development of endoscopic surgery, to share the knowledge and information among members, to contribute to the improvement of the welfare of the people. We have three unique characteristics. The first, JSHIS is a multidisciplinary team. The second, we establish its endoscopic surgical skill qualification system, ESSQS, 17 years ago. The third, we are encouraging medical engineering collaboration. JSHIS is a multidisciplinary team consisting of more than 
14,000 members. General surgeons, urologists, thoracic surgeons, gynecologists, pediatric surgeons, breast and crying surgeons, cardiovascular surgeons, orthopedic surgeons, engineering scientists, nurses, and medical technicians. This is an example of multidisciplinary program. Colorectal surgeons, gynecologists, and urologists have a series of consensus meetings regarding pelvic node dissection in order to share the anatomy and operative procedures. In those meetings, we have found that it is really difficult to define the anatomical terms associated with clear structure images. We are still struggling to create the common terms and definitions. Another multidisciplinary program is the biennial nationwide survey. This survey unveils the trend of laparoscopic and robotic approach and short-term outcomes. This figure shows the rapid expansion of laparoscopic surgery in Japan. The general surgery had the highest number of laparoscopic cases, followed by gynecology, urology, and thoracic surgery. This slide showed the trend of robotic surgery. The public insurance coverage for prostatectomy was introduced in 2012. Thereafter, the number of robotic prostatectomy is rapidly increasing. The coverage for GI surgeries, thoracic surgeries, and gynecological surgery was introduced in 2018. The numbers of robotic surgery for these organs have been increasing since then. The nationwide survey also tells us the trend of open ESD MR in the laparoscopic approaches for the gastric cancer. Open approach is decreasing. On the other hand, the ESD MR and laparoscopic approaches are increasing. In other words, the cases of early gastric cancer, which is able to be cured with ESD EMR, is increasing. This slide shows the trend of the ratio of open to lap for colorectal cancers. The left figure is for colon cancers and the right is rectal cancers. More than 80% of rectal cancers are now down with laparoscopic approach. We can confirm the short-term outcomes through this survey. The left figure shows the number of laparoscopic colorectal surgery, complications, and conversion. The number of complications not to the conversion seems to increase associated with the increase of laparoscopic cases. The right figure shows the rate of co complications and conversion. The conversion rate is gradually decreasing down to 1%. On the other hand, the complication rate is increasing. Let's look at the complication following colorectal surgeries in detail. The number of ileus, leak, and abscess are increasing, probably due to the increase of rectal cancer surgeries. The detail of nationwide survey can be found in the official journals of JSHIS, the Asian Journal of Endoscopic Surgery. Shall we move on to the second characteristic of JSHIS? The endoscopic of surgical skill qualification system 
ESSQS, was established 17 years ago in order to promote the laparoscopic surgery with safety. The detail of qualification system can be also found in our official journal. Here, I will present the system briefly. Seven gastrointestinal fields were selected for the qualification at the start of this system. Those are cholecystectomy, esophagectomy, distal gastrectomy, sigmoidectomy, spironectomy, inguinal hernioplasty, adrenorectomy, nephrectomy, mastectomy, or pyrotectomy in breast endocrine surgical field. An unedited video is submitted to our review board. All members of the review board has repeatedly held consensus meetings to standardize the evaluation. Two experts review the video and give a score on both common criteria and procedure-specific criteria. 70 points or more are needed to success. The left figure shows the numbers of applicants. ESSQS for liver and pancreas surgery was started in 2012. The number of applicants increasing, except for that for the cholecystectomy. The right figure showed the success rate. The success rates are now around 20 to 30 percent in every field. We evaluated whether the ESSQS certification affects the post-operative mortality or complications following distal gastrectomy or low anterior resection by use of national clinical database. The number of analyzed cases for the distal gastrectomy was more than 50,000, and that for low anterior resection was more than 40,000 cases. Post-operative results were compared between operations by certified surgeons and non-certified surgeons. Our conclusion was that ESQS certification did not affect the post-operative mortality, but anosmotic leakage following distal gastrectomy and low anterior resection. The practice guidelines for qualified surgeons can also be found in the Asian Journal of Endoscopic Surgery. Shall we move to the third characteristic of JSHS? This is one of the ongoing programs as medical engineering collaboration. In 2017, Professor Inomata of Oita University started to develop AI navigation surgery system that utilized the tacit knowledge of clinical experts. They have succeeded in verification of real-time AI navigation surgery for cholecystectomy in 2018. They are now evaluating whether the AI navigation could avoid biliary biliary duct injury during cholecystectomy. This figure shows another project of medical engineering collaboration. We have established a big database by use of surgical videos submitted for ESSQS. These videos have been evaluated again to standardize the quality and the value annotations have been added. This database will be provided to ventures, companies, or institute to develop an educational or training tool or interoperative navigation system.
How do we facilitate these unique characteristics of JSHS? First, is to, to share technique and knowledge to more extent in the multidisciplinary team. I have already introduced the consensus meeting regarding pelvic node dissection. We would like to expand the consensus meeting to other fields. For example, consensus meetings of mediastinal node dissection in the thoracic surgery, parenchymal resection technique among lung, liver, kidney, and pancreas surgery, and osmotic technique with modern technology in the luminary surgery, and so on. The Educational Committee of JSHS has been organizing a local surgical observation program. It is to visit the theater of experts and observe their operations on site. But the pandemic made it impossible. We have now adopted the modern virtual reality system for it. The VAD view of the theater, including surgical field, is recorded and provided to visitors' iPhone, which is set inside of a special VR device. We can watch, enjoy, and learn the expert's operation at home. I would like to show you again the previous slide. We have established a big database by use of surgical videos submitted ESSQS. These corrected videos have been standardized and annotated. This database will be, will be provided to ventures, companies, and institutes to develop modern devices such as an educational or training tool or interoperative navigation system. Lastly, I would like to share the knowledge, information, and techniques with other societies. We can now communicate each other with online system like today's meeting. Frequent meetings, discussions, and introductions of new ideas will promote the improvement of endoscopic surgery with safety. That will contribute to the welfare of the people. We have set up a slogan this year. Enjoy JSHS. I hope both all JSHS members and members of other societies enjoy our JSHS program and share the knowledge, information, and techniques. Finally, I introduce the next coming JSHS Annual Congress, which will be held in Kobe this December. We will welcome all of you. Thank you again for your kind invitation and attention. Thank you very much. Thank you for very comprehensive the review about these uh, uh, activities of the uh, JSES. Uh, if there is any question or command, please is a, uh, type your question and command on chat window. Uh, I have these uh, few questions for Professor Sakai. Yes. Uh, I had the opportunity to attend the JSES conference several times. Oh, did every you? Time, yeah. <laughs> every time I was uh, so impressed by the huge number of attendants. Mm. So how many is a percentage of members attend the annual conference? Uh, half of members. Yeah, how many percentage of members? Uh, 50 percent. 50 percent. 50 percent. Wow. 50, 50, 50 percent. Percent is, yes, uh, but this uh, this time we had a very severe pandemic. Mm -hmm. In the last month, we had mm -hmm. a, a annual mm -hmm. meeting, mm -hmm. but by hybrid, mm -hmm. and on site, only the six hundred surgeons mm -hmm. came, mm -hmm. and the others, I enjoy the online meeting mm -hmm. okay so 
how do you this uh, the health policy? That what kind of policy do do you have to encourage the participation to this annual conference in your society? Hmm. Well, we are um, giving a chance for all members to present their own papers, and we have a large area of exhibition of company for companies where the members and the companies are communicating each other and give and take idea and knowledge and to promote the new instrument and so on. Okay, thank you. I have another question for you, this certification system. This mm -hmm. our society is just established. There's a start it is uh, such a skill, the certification system. Mm -hmm. uh, you have this uh, long history, but you show that uh, since this uh, introduction of endoscope surgery, as mm -hmm. the number of these cases increase, mm -hmm. the complexion rate is increased. Mm -hmm. So, but in comparison, you show that the certification was mm. associated, associated with less, lower rate of complication uh, rate compared mm. with the uh, uh, surgeons who they do not they pass the certification. Complication rate is the same. Same between, complication. Mm, same. Uh, but it's a. Uh, I, I could, no, sorry. M late, mortality late is rating. the same. Mortality is the same. Yeah, but the, the same, complication but... rate is less. Yes, in the yes, sir. certified surgeon's group. Yes, yes you are right. Especially this uh, anastomosis leak. Yes, yeah? yes, yeah. yes. So, uh, so my question is, uh, how many uh, percentage of surgeons uh, the, during clinical practice passed your certification system? How many surgeons? Yeah. The how many surgeons? Yeah, how many percentage surgeons during clinical practice the past the certification. Uh, sorry, I, I can't. I can't get uh, concrete the number or the uh, rate. Sorry. Uh, uh. So the, this is certification system is obligation for everyone? No, 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 uh, no obligation. Yeah, no obligation. Mm. Even if you, you don't have any cert mm. certification, you can mm. do operation mm. with a laparoscope. Uh. Uh, so, but the, when I see your data, there is uh, the pass rate very, very low. Yes. There's, uh, there's uh, less than 20%. Mm -hmm. So, less uh, than 20, no, no, 20 to 30%. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> okay. And is, uh, but uh, do you have any data about these uh, the surgeons who passed the certification among institutions uh, or is experienced? There's uh, how many years uh, do you think are required? to mm -hmm. pass the certification system? Well, now the, the, the age of the sergeant mm -hmm. who can get to the certification mm -hmm. is decreasing. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. for my age uh -huh. group, around the uh, 45, uh -huh. around the 45, but now, mm, Within the 10 years after graduation, they can get to the certification. Oh, oh. Mm. It's a long time, I think, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, around the 10 years. Yes. So another question is, uh, what kind of is education program mm. uh, do you provide surgeons who uh, did, you know, do not pass the certification? That when, oh, okay. mm. when, when surgeon is uh, failed, the certification, mm -hmm. what kind of is uh, the education program do you provide? The Thank you very much for your nice uh, good question there. We have a lot of program provided by JSIS. Mm -hmm. JSIS established e-learning system. Mm -hmm. That means uh, we can provide the, the a model, mm -hmm. the uh, expert surgery, 
step-by-step -step procedure. And also we provide the members the unsuccess video. Mm -hmm. The video which will not was not the pass mm -hmm. the ex exam. Mm -hmm. And we are uh, explained mm -hmm. on the video why mm -hmm. this procedure is wrong or not. Mm -hmm. You can learn many, many procedures and detail mm -hmm. online system. Mm -hmm. And we have an on site program, mm -hmm. uh, Animal Love and dry life and at the site the experts will teach the deep step by step in detail mm -hmm. many many program we have mm -hmm. yes um, thank you for very very this informative your this answer there is a uh, once these uh, surgeons uh, fail the certificate system how the frequently is uh, how many times uh, can re, uh, they reapply <laughs> the certification? There's no limitation. No, no limitation. Mm. Anytime. Anytime. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. You can do the do your best <laughs> to success. Many times. Okay. Many times. Mm. Yeah. The actually there's uh, our society. They uh, feel some difficulty to encouraging these members to do the certification this system. So there's no uh, incentive uh, in our society. Mm. So is there any kind of incentive? No, no, no incentive. In your society, no incentive. No incentive. There's a why the insurance they, coverage yeah. is the same. Uh huh. The, if so, why this uh, many citizens <laughs> uh, apply for certification system? Mm. Well, um, it's very difficult mm -hmm. to answer it. Sorry, I can't. I can't. Uh, I can't. Yeah. <laughs> the, I can't. Yeah. I can't. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Actually, we, our society, have some difficulty mm. the, the, the encouraging the members to do mm -hmm. the certificate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, this system, uh, uh, this certification is the most, uh -huh. most, what do you say, most mm -hmm. uh, difficult and the most, uh, yes, most difficult certification for surgeons. And uh, they, are, they will have a pride or play yes. big pleasure <laughs> if they can get it. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you. Uh, I really appreciate this uh, your this lecture. Mm. It's uh, actually there's no this uh, question or comment from this uh, audience. Mm. Uh, it's uh, time is up, so it's time to close this section. I'd like to thank the Professor Sakai for the sharing the is a valuable experience the painting society and the school of surgery. Thank, thank you, you so Professor much. Yun. Professor Thank Yun. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.